welcome to the 55th running of the Rally of Ypres, the sixth round of the Job Fixers Belgian Rally Championship. Excellent weather in Belgium for the Ypres Rally and as always there's big names at the start and there's even the biggest of all Belgian names at the start in the form of Cherry Neuville with his Hyundai WRC car. The organizers have created the Ypres Rally Masters reserved for young timers and modern WRC cars just to give Neuville the occasion to show his WRC car in front of his Belgian fans. Well, I think it's a, it's a great gift for our fans here in Belgium. They've all come here to um, to see our WRC car. And it's a, it's a great uh, opportunity for us to participate here and, and uh, take advantage of that. It's a good idea. And Neuville will have Brian Bouffier twice second in deeper as one of his competitors at the wheel of a Ford Fiesta WRC and there's a new Ford Fiesta in the form of the new R5 as well as the zero car for the Ypres Rally. At the wheel, Eric Camely, the Frenchman, former WRC driver, enjoying himself on the Ypres roads. Yes, I'm very honored and, and happy to be able to drive the new Ford Fiesta R5 here on these uh, Ypres roads. Um, we enjoyed ourselves a lot during the, the first loop. It's our first time here and I, I really like the rally. It uh, has beautiful tarmac roads and rather quick. Uh, it's a good idea. And here's Freddy Loix and Peter Tune together. They have 13 wins in Ypres and 12 Belgian national rally titles. For Loix, it's his first rally in almost three years. So making a one-shot comeback with the car of the new PTR team, the Peter Tune racing team. Just here to have fun, they pretend, Loix and Tune. But of course, Ypres is also a round of the Job Fixers Belgian Rally Championship. And he is the leader and reigning champion in that championship. Chris Prinsen at the wheel of his VW Polo. With other drivers absent, he could do a good thing here for the championship. Yes, of course. Um, uh, it's, it's a long rally, of course. It's difficult. And it goes uh, pretty quick, but uh, yes, if we're at the finish, uh, we uh, could take a good advantage in the championship. Sebastian Bedaway, the Skoda youngster who finished on every rally on the podium this year in Belgium. Having a good start with a puncture on the other hand, but he's happy. Yeah, we're fighting with, uh, with Freddy and it's, uh, it's a good thing. Uh, he's giving us good of advice, but it's thanks to him that uh, we're here. Freddy, apparently you're giving uh, too much of advice because uh, you're having difficulties in keeping up. Um, that's the point, right? I'm teaching him, so um, he, I'm very happy with his speed, especially since he had a puncture in the first rally and also um, four stages without a, a, a spare wheel and to set those times are uh, uh, pretty good. Up to the next. And the next is uh, Vincent Vescuren. This is the shakedown qualifying stage. And it was almost completely over for Verschuren. Fortunately, he could continue and be at the start of the Ypres rally. Yeah, it was a bit of the circumstances. Maybe the car was a bit too low and uh, it cut a bit too deep. So we were lucky that we, we could continue because it was a high speed uh, spin. We were in fifth gear, so um, you should be very happy to be able to start. Beautiful sunny conditions in Ypres and plenty of R5s at the start, making it a high level rally once again. Here's Brad Kuna with his Ford Fiesta. And this is Kevin Abring, the former winner at the start with a VW Polo and he sets the fastest times in the opening stages. Kevin, let's talk about your uh, fabulous start in the first three stages. It was incredible. Yeah, I, I thought before the start, uh, let's see how, how we can get the rhythm. Apparently our rhythm was pretty good. We felt the roads well. Okay, I have a plenty of confidence in the car now. But it was pretty slippery. 
So of course uh, you, you, you try to get some good times and get the maximum out of the car, but uh, you're still uh, doing a rally and it wasn't easy. It was pretty slippery. This is Irishman Craig Breen, also in Apollo. Apollo from the BMA workshop. Same one as uh, Chris Princeton's car. Good start for Breen. He's in second after three stages. Here's Kevin DeMarsh called with the Citroen C3 R5. It's a bit of an issue with the setup of the car. Well, the setup is, is not near, yeah, the setup isn't uh, as good as we thought it would be. I lack a bit of uh, front grip. So maybe we can change uh, something here in uh, back in service park. So uh, I'm trying to get some better times. Here's Davy Van Neste. He's an experienced deeper driver. The first time he has a top car with the VW Polo. I think the combination of parkour. I think it's a combination of our experience and a recent car that makes uh, where we are right now. But you one of the stages with the fourth time. That's that's not bad. I've never done that before. I think uh, before I think I had a sixth or a seventh time before. But uh, super positive. It's great. And sometimes it goes very wrong, like here on this amateur footage, Dutch pairing Van Dijne Verschuren. Just half a meter next to the road with terrible results. Fortunately, they come out unscathed. This is Norwegian, Ole Christian Vibe with the Hyundai R5. Had a bit of an issue with the pop-off valve due to the heat, probably. So not a good start for the Norwegian. Peter Jan Michiel Krakow in his Skoda. Having fun on the Ypres roads. It was good when the electric one went. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was a bit scary twice, and uh, missed the braking points, and then I had uh, the handbrake to to get around the corner. But for, I think the rhythm is good for the rest of the other stages. Here's Petrian Michiel's uh, dad, Philip Krakow, enjoying the conditions as well. Joachim Wagen wants one of the R5 drivers, but with a Peugeot, one of the few. And here's Kevin Abring again. He has a puncture in stage four and loses valuable time. Dropping to second. And that means that Crick Breen takes the lead in the Ypres Rally in stage number four and extends his lead in the next one. So the first return at the service park, Crick Breen is leading. Uh, Crick Breen, uh, great performance so far. You're uh, on top at the moment. Yeah, I know it's been a nice start to the rally. Uh, surprised about how slippery the roads are here. It was uh, sometime since I was I was driving and. Even more slippy than what I remember some. Uh, but no, a nice rhythm. We get faster and faster with every stage and uh, start to really enjoy the car now. Vincent Verschuden has some bad luck as well. He has a puncture, loses almost a minute and drops to 14th with his Coda. Chris Princeton, on the other hand, remains in third as best of the Belgians. So here's the standings after five of the 23 stages. Green leading from Abering, Prince and Bedray and Matt Edwards in fifth. Ypres is also around for the Pirelli Junior Championship. Unfortunately, Jill Peak loses a wheel early on. And that means he's out of contention almost immediately. Manuel Medelveda is doing a good rally. He's in second at the end of the first day, just behind Amory Mall in the Peugeot 208. Meanwhile, Jerry Neuville is entertaining the fans with his Hyundai WRC car. Dominating the Ypres Masters rally. Like every year, there's a lot of spectators. Uh, I didn't want to do it again in an R5 because uh, the Hyundai R5 uh, hasn't evolved much. 
And last year we won with it, so um, we wanted to do it with uh, WRC car. And that's what we did. Uh, we're really enjoying it. Is that Freddie Loigs with that Peter Chun? The end of the day, he's in fifth. Good times for Loigs. In the second loop in fourth is his uh, pupil Sebastian Bedore. Only seven seconds ahead of. Uh, Loix and then Princeton still in third. Cathy Hill Snell. It's going very quick. Um, it's strange at the, the Hollebaker stage. I felt some my vibrations. I, I looked under the car. I, I, I didn't see anything. And then in Mason it disappeared again. But um, you know, I don't know. But um, anyway, I, I think we couldn't match the, the times of Craig in the last stages even without vibrations. So it's really quick. And that is felt by Kevin Abring as well. The Dutchman is in second at the end of uh, the first day. Lost some time with the puncture. It's easy to say that uh, you don't feel where it happened, but uh, I really feel we didn't deserve this. Uh, I didn't feel it. I think we had a, a, a good strategy from the start. Uh, mentally, we were very strong. Uh, as well, me as Veronique. Veronique has only driven with one other driver for five years. So now she has a completely uh, set of notes and uh, she's coping well. And that's one of the reasons why we're so quick. Still leading our Craig Brain and Paul Nagel. After nine stages, they have uh, 24 seconds in hand. I'm trying to just enjoy the rally, to be honest with you. It's not often that you get to do these nice special tarmac rallies and uh, I have to say the car is handling really well. Uh, me and Paul are in a good rhythm and I'm not looking so much at the times and just, just enjoying to drive and it just so happens that it's in a, a fast pace as well. So it's been uh, yeah, one of the more enjoyable days of, of my career so far. And here's the standings at the end of day one. Green leading from Abring, then three Belgians, Princeton, Bedere and Loix. Welcome back in Ypres for the sixth round of the Job Fixers Belgian Rally Championship. 14 more stages to go on the second day, and this is Matt Edwards, one of the British drivers. What would make you happy this uh, weekend? Uh, first Brit, that's the main goal. That's the only goal, really. Um, yeah, just going to keep working towards that. And that is exactly what Matt Adams did. He took the lead for the drivers of the British Rally Championship on Saturday morning. All's going well for Craig Green, meanwhile. Yeah, everything is going uh, going quite well for the moment. Um, I have to say the car is awesome. Uh, it's a long time. Actually, I can't remember the last time I felt so comfortable and so at one with the car. And uh, the time seemed to come just without even trying. So it's generally speaking, when I'm having fun and relaxed, that's when the times come. So I think today is one of those days. But uh, Okay, still we have to keep very, very concentrated. Uh, tricky roads, uh, always with traps around every corner here. Kevin is not so far behind, and uh, yeah, we're having to keep a, a strong pace, but looking forward to the rest of the rally. Kevin Abring now 35 seconds behind. Still in second, though. I did 1% less than yesterday and then immediately I, I lost the rhythm and then you try to accelerate on the wrong times but uh, fortunately we could rectify that in, uh, in the third stage with the quickest time so we try to continue with that now. Chris Prinsen, best of the Belgian drivers scoring four points for the uh, Job Fixers BRC. Continuing in third. Chris Prinsen, you have a vest on to af te koelen. Chris Prinsen, you're, you're wearing a, a nice vest. It's uh, not a luxury. Yeah, it works well. It, it, uh, it, it remains uh, warm, of course, but uh, every degree I can gain is, is, is important. You, when you don't have to sit in a boiling car all the time, you, you can use this. Sebastian Bedore is in fourth. 
trying to edge closer to the podium positions, but that's difficult. Still, he's well ahead of uh, Freddy Loix in a comparable car. I don't have the ambition to go as quick as, as yesterday evening when I did the, the second time through the stages. I, I tried to relax again this morning um, and I'll leave uh, the quick times to my, uh, my pupil uh, Sebastian. He can do that as well. And this was not going to plan for Kevin Amarskal losing valuable time with an exit. Yeah, we had a wrong note, it was a bit too quick, so we ended up uh, through the ditch and then it took a lot of time to get back on the road, uh, the spectators had to open the gate. Uh, I think we lose some eight minutes, if, and uh, even if the spectators hadn't opened the gate, uh, we wouldn't have been here. Davy van Esten improving, setting some good times again. Super leuk, het gaat goed. It, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's going very well. I think we were on with them. Uh, some incidents before us, so we gained some places. We like to continue like this and um, make no mistakes and keep the same rhythm. It's uh, we're having a lot of fun. Jan Michiel Krakow still inside the top ten with his Skoda. That Philip enjoying himself as well at the wheel of the Ford Fiesta. Among the youngsters, it's still a uh, Amory Moller leading the Pirelli Junior rankings. But uh, Achil Boksun is edging closer. Boksun losing time with a puncture on day one at the wheel of the new Ford Fiesta R2. Impressive R2 car in second now, uh, Boksun. The first of the GT cars is Tim Van Perez with his Porsche. We uh, started a bit um, calmly this morning, but uh, I knew it's a long day, so we're not going to attack immediately. And we'll try to keep this rhythm now. It's, it's a tough, uh, tough stages for the Porsche, and especially with the high temperatures. So, it's Verschuren trying to get closer to a top five finish. And after 16 stages, he's in fifth, just edging ahead of uh, Freddy Loix. It's still Trick Green leading though. The standings after 16 stages, Green from Abring, Princeton, then Bedere and Verschuren. Looks like Sebastian Bedere is heading for a good result in fourth place, but Ypres is not the kind of rally where you can afford to lose the focus. And unfortunately for Bedere, that's exactly what he did. He slid a bit wide and this was the result. A hard hit and a multiple roll on caught by this amateur footage. No injuries for Bedere and Walbrecht, but the car was completely destroyed. Meanwhile, Cherry Neuville takes the win in the Ypres Masters Rally. He had no competition really. The second car was almost nine minutes behind the runner-up in the World Championship for 2018. Small mistake here though for Neuville and Gilles Soul. But he didn't really mind. Plenty of spectators at the Ypres Rally attending the final stages of the rally. All that Christian Vibe again hitting trouble with his Hyundai. And then the end was that the car caught fire. The drivers got out in time, but the car was destroyed. Bad luck for Vincent Verschuren as well. Was heading for a top five finish, but then the gearbox broke, and that was it for Verschuren and co driver Stefan Prevo. Not the best of weekends for Verschuren and Prevo then. So 
off to the final stages. And Marie Muller takes the Pirelli Junior win. Great win for the youngster with the Peugeot. Amory Muller, congratulations with uh, winning the Pirelli Junior here in Ypres. Always great. Yeah, thank you. It's our second win in uh, Ypres. We, we've won in 2014 in now one, but this one is uh, completely different. It was uh, was a good rhythm from the start, um, and we led from uh, from the start. It was a really great rally. Frederick Delplas. Trying to take the fight for the GT honors to Tim Van Parijs, but eventually he would finish some 35 seconds behind Tim Van Parijs. Great fight between the two Porsche drivers, Van Parijs finishing in 11th overall as well. Great result for Joachim Wagemans, finishing in 8th with his Peugeot. And a superb rally for Davy Van Este with the VW Polo. Finishing in fifth, just behind uh, Freddy Loix. Chris Pinson ended up in third, taking full points for the job fixes BRC, which was his main aim. And Kevin Ebring did everything he could, but he had to admit he was just a bit slower than Craig Breen in the lead. Still a VW Polo 1 2 3 in Ypres with Craig Breen winning it and dedicating this uh, superb win to his lost friend uh, Mandy Kelly. Really happy. It's been a it's been a long week. Uh, last weekend we had a yeah we had a sad in instance in uh, in Ireland. I lost a very very good friend and. Uh, I think all the Irish people here, we've been trying to just get through this week, uh, try to keep our heads down and for sure for me and Paul to win the rally, it's something that we're very, very uh, happy and proud about. So here's the final results for the 55th Ypres Rally. Breen winning it from Abring, then Prince and Lloyds and Vanesta. These are the standings in the job fixes BRC before the summer break. Prince and takes the lead from Chirin, Fernimont, Bedere and Demavius. That was it from Ypres. See you all after the summer.